Anyway, I started over. I have to start over. I started breaking down. Anyway, there's some very sad news. I had to close the kennel as of yesterday. Side kennel, Aaron Taylor and four of his flying monkeys went on my diamond bar kennel and put one star reviews. That one I read yesterday where she saw me in a chat board and felt compelled to go into length about a complete stranger's mental illness. My take on this, Aaron, is what you should be saying as a trained police officer for 20 years or however long you were a cop. I recognize the signs of mental illness. And this woman is clearly displaying them back off. Just let her wallow. In. Nobody's even watching her videos. She's got like three views. There's these kooks are everywhere. These conspiracy theorists and everybody. Nobody's watching her videos. I am a trained police officer. I recognize mental illness. And she... Everybody sees. Let me show you what he wrote. And I'm not messing with your footage, Aaron. You're messing with it. You're setting it in slow-mo. I'm using it for educational purposes. And I've tagged my attorney in this video. So later, when the lawsuit comes in, I can say, but I mean, what are you going to even sue? Somebody who publicly announced they closed their business? If you said, I went online and found advertisements and everything else you advertised. The phone number of my van is wrong. I'll burn all my business cards in front of you. I cannot operate a business, Aaron, when four people in one day put a one-star rating calling me mentally ill, and one of them's a trained police officer who's calling me a liar and a person of no intent. How can I continue to run a business? <laughs> so I can continue to run a business when you people are on to me. Come on. So I closed the business. I called my accountant and I said, I'm, I'm done. If you said you'd already told her that last year, possibly. So if you said you're now just gonna operate under a hobby kennel and apply for a 501c to for, pay for all these pro bono foster dogs that you're training, that you realize they're not coming back for, they're not coming back. <laughs> they're not coming back for these foster dogs. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm closing my business and I'm going to do seminars for service work and continue to breed puppies and donate them to service organizations. If you said uh, Ridgeside Canine does that too, good. And I think you should do more training service work for veterans. But if you can honestly say, Aaron, to me, I don't understand what the problem is. Somebody taking your footage and messing with the speed. I, I've got videos or quotes from years ago on my page. Watch everything in slow-mo if you really want to learn. So if you really wanted to learn, you would watch it in slow-mo, not speed it up. And I mean, if you can explain why you're speeding it up, I'll listen to that, but that's the news. Anyway, guys, I've closed the business because of Ridgeside Canine, and you can't stop me from seeing anything I want on my own page, Aaron. This video that you don't like is on my page, not on your page. I haven't been on your page at all. So don't say I've been on your page. I'm not stalking you. You said, I told people to put a one-star review. If you said, I've got proof, I'll show you the one-star reviews. I've got screen grabbed them. There's no such thing. If you said you did that to those people on the Olive, Olive. Yeah, I've, I've closed the business and I'm applying for a 501c. If you said under what premise, show me your foster dogs and your rescue dogs that you've done probo work over the years. Oh my God. Every pit bull you see practically. If you said no, we get a lot of people playing, paying high bucks for the pit bull training. I don't. I don't get very many people at all.
So the business is closed. There's no more Diamond Bar Kennel. The web, the Facebook is gone. Four people in one day. So my advice is if you're a small business, don't speak out about the e-collar against Ridgeside Canine because they're going to accuse you of stalking. If you said stalking how, the guy's a full-grown war hero, a police officer. You've never left your house. And I want you to know, Aaron, I did have a mental health issue. People putting bad reviews, fraudulent bad reviews, was making me insane. It really was. If you said the way your mind works, you had all kinds of strategies to deal with. You know, a very, very good strategy was tell them, I'm going to contact your employer because this is my livelihood. If you said, oh, it works great. It works really good. If you said it's a well-known tactic, all they had to do was read the reviews. I said on there, I'm calling the homeowners association where you live. That woman, adopt, don't shop. If you said the, the rescue advocate lived in an HOA, in a condo, and you have a house full of rescue dogs mm -hmm. that they're never coming back for. They're never coming back for. Anyway, I've got to go to this park. But that's the news. Diamond Bar Kennel no longer exists. I'm in the process of pro applying for a 501c to just do rescue work. And if you said, what about the people? Uh, I will still work with dogs, but you're, it's going to have to, and you're going to have to donate to the rescue. If you said, show, show me your books. <laughs> if you said your accountant said, my God, well, how are you spending this much on dog food? If you said, what do you say? I said, how much do you think dog food costs these days? She didn't know how much I said. And if you said, how much do you sell your puppies for? A lot, Aaron, a lot. 25 to 3,500. And if you said, that's bullshit. That's what people tell me on Diamond Bar all the time. That's bullshit. Nobody should pay $3,500 for Butter Crunch, even though he was all trained. I know you don't believe it, but there's plenty of footage. And nobody should pay 3,500. Everybody should just go get a pit bull. So between that and you people, the adopt don't shop, and then the asinine Mike Singletons of the world. Are they American or English? We don't want an American because they're skinny and ugly and English are short and stocky. I, I couldn't deal with those people anymore. All the information in the world is on your phone. And the only thing that you people can come up with I'm going to read Aaron's thing, though, that he wrote. And if, as a trained police officer, Aaron, you recognize the signs of mental illness, but yet tell your friends, these people all live in Virginia, they're all Aaron's fans, to go on there. You don't even know how to spell stalking, but go on there and diagnose her with mental illness. It'll be real legit, Aaliyah. And then I'll put a thing, too, and then come in like that, Aaliyah. Whatever this chick's name was, if it was even a girl. And you're allowed to take people's footage, especially a hobby person. I'm just a researcher. I'm now just a citizen scientist. I no longer... If I can even find this guy's review. I just saw it last night when I went on. But I'm talk I, in my opinion, Aaron, we're talking about an ethical issue here. If you're honestly saying that you can't get any get a message to me to explain that you can't have Tommy Loveless go on understanding dog behavior or that you don't have people that are on there right now that couldn't go on there and say, here, this is Aaron's explanation of what's going on in this video, this video, and this video. that I have to slow your stuff down twice and then you criticize me. <laughs> this is going on YouTube and you can't stop me from putting it on there. My experience with you is my experience. I mean, apparently, according to what I'm hearing, this Nick... Okay, we're almost getting into it here. Sue me, Aaron. I had to close the kennel thanks to you, your mob. You can imagine if I did that to you, Aaron, that you would be... No integrity. Damn, I have been saying if you want to come talk to me, come on. You're a goddamn CAA agent talking to me on video, but have no way to contact me, trainer to trainer. I'm not buying it, Aaron. Stalking him, but has him blocked. So that's just, if you said that's quite, a, quite the stalker tactic. Block the person. So stalk him from behind. 
It's it's all fair use, Aaron. You're you're not good. if you want to get a lawyer and sue me. I don't know why I can't see this review. Oh, I see as much coming explaining, coming explaining, coming explaining. Anyway, it basically said stop using his footage, stop messing with the. I'm not messing with the sound, Aaron. All I'm doing is just re-editing it in slow mo twice. You can't hear what the people are saying. But you're just doing, you're looking at the dog and you're looking at the handler's movements and that's how you learn in slow-mo. The fact that I'm the complete opposite of Nick White and Larry Crone and I, Larry Crone hasn't sped stuff up yet, but I'm expecting that's his next move. I mean, to me, it's just terrible. I don't even... People are calling it abuse, Aaron. This... Anyway, my these are the questions I have for you, Aaron. After viewing my work, you're still going to say the use of the stem, as you call it, because I don't call it that. I call it the neck or the continuous, is the most, most ethical thing to move forward with, and that the use of the stem, as you call it, is not causing fear and discomfort in the dogs. They're literally running, doing the shake off. I mean, it's, if you said, I have no problem submitting this stuff to the British Veterinary Association, neither do I. I don't have any problem. If you took my work and put it in fast speed, I'd say, I mean, you're not really going to be seeing anything. It's already so fast now, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to sit there and threaten to sue you. Mark O'Meara is my attorney, and I'll run this by him. I'll say, Mark, when the, I'll wait until the lawsuit comes through because he's busy, but I'll say, Mark, remember that one video I tagged you in? like six or seven months ago where I said I was closing the kennel and this guy had left 4-1 back. Uh, that remember I sent you those screen grabs of those one-star reviews where I was stalking. Um, and um, now I'm getting sued and they want me to remove those videos and he would say, which videos? And I'll then send him the videos and then when everybody says, what's the uproar about these videos? Where are the videos? I'll say, here's the videos this guy's so worried about. So then everybody can see them. I don't even know what you want from me. I offer, I offer it on Tuesday. Come talk to me. I'll take everything down. I don't mind. My main concern is the proper use of e-collars. And to say the proper use is based on the methodology of Larry Crone, a two-week hobby trainer, if you said he's operating under a limited liability corporation. I was operating under a sole proprietor until you put me out of business. Four, four one-star reviews by a police officer and trained mental health professionals calling me insane on a legitimate business page where you could see, well, like you said, nobody actually wrote anything. If you said I didn't see any attorneys on there, what about Mark Levy, Mark O'Meara? I'm trying to think the other, if you said they're all named Mark. <sighs> so please come sue me, Aaron, because I'm going on record to say, if you said oh, I looked up and you still have a business license, it's to breed and train Labradors and until I get the and can apply for the 501c and do all these things that my accountant said I had to do. And plus, I've already paid for that business license for a year. If you said, how long have you had that business license? Since 1993. So you can go on your page, and like you said, the day after this happened, you won, you proved me a mentally ill person who doesn't know what they're doing. How am I even a factor? Somebody who doesn't get any views now you've got all your people on my video on my page. Because this video of you confronting me and calling me out and showing the world who I am and then pulling public records on me, that's weird. That is creepy and weird. If you said small businesses better watch out because if anybody challenges Ridge Side Canine, or God forbid a client have a bad experience, they can expect public records pulled on them and mobs to attack them. That's what it seems like. Aaron Taylor Ridge Side Canine, it's a franchise. 
It's big business versus a small business owner that's been in business for 30 years that due to four bad reviews and the fact that I, I did, Aaron, I did realize that that's not who I am to just go crazy on complete strangers. But when people start leaving bad reviews on a business you've built for 30 years that are fraudulent, because they want people to adopt pit bulls instead of your OFA certified every genetic clearance Labradors or German Shepherds because my Shepherds are OFA, DM negative, all of it. The labs too. EIC, CNM, PRA. And I'm gonna get Embark on all of them now, too. If you said you don't have Embark, I know, but I did talk to Donna about that. And I'm getting Embark now. That's what everybody does now, so to stay on the curve, I'm getting Embark now. And if you said I saw your puppy work, it was just a bunch of lies, fog, fur, fuzzy videos, you can't even see anything. And whatever, I've been worked really hard to try to get good footage of what I'm doing and not speed it up, let's put it in slow-mo. So, be thankful, Aaron. And I'm not gonna stop taking your videos and ripping them and putting them in slow-mo so people can learn that the use of constant causes immediate shutdown of dogs. If you said you're not gonna get anybody on your side, I am gonna ask veterinarians, would you like to participate? It was only gonna take a few minutes, but it's to compare two different methodologies, one using the phone pager option and one using the electric stimulus. If you said veterinarians, yes. If you said one's your friends like that you always talk about, Shannon and Kim and no. But I'm gonna ask them too though, but I already know what they believe. They've had their dogs trained by me. But who will you go with? Dr. Cal Cadmus, who's the big bet, you know, in your world? And I will get some stuff together. And I if you said you're gonna point out to them that the collar's causing the shake off and they're not gonna see it. They're not going to see it. You wanted to be my enemy, Aaron, and it worked. All of this is on my page. I'm not on Ridgeside Canine page calling you mentally ill and having all my friends say, you're crazy, you're crazy, calling me out. This pack house is going to take on my deaf dog. She's disappeared. The little high-pitched voice, Andy Smith, I'm about to rip some of his stuff. His little high-pitched voice and his little hands covering his little genitals. Here we are with a two-week boarding train. Sped up footage. If speeding up footage, training for two weeks, and using constant isn't the charlatans, who is? If you think at the end of my life, I'm going to say, I wish I never would have said anything. I'm not, so bring it on. You can't attack my business anymore, Aaron. Aaron R. Taylor Ridgeside Canine was the cause of me closing my business because it did make me crazy. If you said we knew you before and you didn't act like that, I didn't. I didn't understand. The first person was that Christina Dixon. I helped this girl. I sent her all kinds of stuff, food and supplies and stuff for her rescue, then found out it was a fake rescue. And so she said then what? She went to a board called I Hate Dog Breeders and got 50 people to attack my page, putting one star view saying, I love dogs, so I hate dog breeders. If you said then what? Same thing, the balance trainers, Nikki Butler, because I said you're using the e-collar wrong and put her work in slow-mo. You had fair warning, Aaron. You should ask Larry Crone. You know this fucking idiot. <laughs> you just assume nobody knows me. I have a video titled why I hate Larry Crone and why you should too. To flat out say don't explore the pager option is wrong. For you to say vibration isn't natural to the nervous system is wrong. Google it, Aaron. So stick your chest out, your war hero chest, and as a policeman, send this and say, as I've been able to form a large business, franchise that's man is starting to stomp out small businesses ones that have been in there 30 years and good and look at this she's got nothing no footage a couple shaky videos of dogs playing and she's trying to say i'm wrong 
and trying to slow my work down and say it's not right. She's mentally ill, as has been diagnosed. She's not even running a business. She's just a private citizen. And we're going on the attack as a war hero, a police officer, and a battle-hardened Marine. And my family is proud. I told my boys, <laughs> put her out of business. A small business that does a lot of pro bono work. And that's my saving grace. That is my saving grace, Erin. Because my accountant said, you might as well just be a 501c with all these foster dogs you're taking care of. And if you said, when do they, and she said, when do they, I said they're unadoptable. I'm practically journey's end for these dogs. They're not going to be adoptable because they have two severe issues that aren't going to go away. They're not going to be the only dog in a home and all this shit. If something was to happen, I would be responsible. So the only thing I can do is continue to foster them at my expense until they die. So a couple years ago, she said to me, you might as well just be a 501c as continue doing this when you're taking all your profits and putting them back into... <laughs> If you said, I've reviewed your footage for the last 10 years, and you're going to be hard-pressed to convince the IRS that you were training dogs all this. I've been live every single day. Except for like three or four hurricanes for a decade. Or, I mean, since Facebook. Or, no, since the first hurricane. Anyway, I'm going out there to actually train. And please be proud of yourself, Aaron. And I said several times... Come and talk to me, not go put a one-star review. I mean, I don't know what else you want me to do. I'm protected under the Fair Use Act. I'm not making any money off your videos. Like you said, I'm a nobody that gets no views. Who cares? You threw me a bone. You tried to get me to apologize to off leash canine. I said, no, I'm not gonna do it. Nick White is terrible. The last thing a handler should do is be the source of distraction by throwing shit around, jumping around, making jerky movements. If you said no, they do that in trials all the time. AKC, all these trials have a movement. They say, make your dog stay. Now jump around. Now throw stuff. Make your dog stay. No, they don't. There's nothing like that anywhere. Anyway, I don't like you, Aaron. But I'm not. For you to come at me and say, use religion and say, I'm going to pray for you. Then the next day, you put me out of business. If you want to pursue a copyright thing, I just, I want to tell you, I do thank you because to be rid of Diamond Bar Kennel and be rid of having to go on there and see my rating dropping when I know that I'm doing everything in my power and moving forward with 110% effort to get these collars advanced as far as possible in my lifetime. And I'm a lot older than you, Aaron. And if you said in the police department, in the Marines, that doesn't mean shit, lady. So in my world, if somebody says I've been a police officer, I'm 20 years older than you and I've been a police officer for 30 years, I say, fuck you. You're crazy. I'm not going to look. I've seen your work. All you were was a traffic cop. If you actually think there aren't people that believe in me, I hope you've read Godfrey's book. Like you said, you can read a book in one day. And if you said... What I would like to do is, I do see maybe some things that you may be doing right. Oh, hi, Helen. And it has made me second, take a second look at what we're doing and think maybe we should maybe go the more motivational. <laughs> you think that I wouldn't just go back and delete every bit video and by six months from now, people would have forgotten about this and be excited about what you're doing and start to be doing service work for vets, work, change your whole training setup. Look at Alan. I said, change your training setup. If you said, 10 minutes later, he went out and say, changed his whole setup. You've got a great place, but if that's what you're teaching your people to do, you're not gonna stop me as a private citizen any more than you're gonna stop that girl that put the post about off-leash canine, murdering dogs, and everything else. Did you people go after her, too? 
I hope my posting her post didn't cause her to be subjected to you people too. If you said they know all about you people. Yeah. Oh, that guy Damien calls Nick White out all the time. If you said what? Oh, he goes, here's that great Nick White. Oh, they hate him. You know, I don't hate him. I, just, I think what you guys are doing is ethically wrong. We're talking about an ethics issue. Ethical dog training requires first do no harm. If you said you have not pointed out I'm causing the shake off with the collar, you, Shaky Blakey, Larry Crone, I've got documented proof that that's what all of you are doing, and you cannot say that's not harming a dog. I am now. I'm going to take your work, and I'll put it in real time. I'll take the original video. I won't set it in slow mo because veterinarians know dog behavior, especially ones that have been in practice for 20, 30 years, like Dr. Cadmus. And Dr. Fran Smith. If you said who's Dr. Fran Smith, I never heard of her. She's the president of OFA. Aaron. And a lifetime board member of the LRC. And way, way, way back in the day, the weird thing was she was in a pedigree commercial. Way, way, way back in the day. I think I tried to find it on YouTube. But that's who Dr. Fran Smith is. And if you said, I'll go with what Dr. Fran Smith says. And after reading Godfrey's book, I'll go with what he says. You want to, you just keep making it worse and worse, Aaron. I mean, I don't understand any of it. If you said you're trying to market, I found all kinds of, I publicly stated I'm closing my business. I have to go to my accountant to pick up my taxes. And as everybody knows, I always put my account, I always bring my account in a gift for putting up with my bad handwriting, spelling. I don't even balance my checkbook. She does all of that. I don't even balance my checkbook. And my accountant, I will be at my accountant's office here in a week or so stating we are now form, forming a 501c and I am now no longer operating as a business and that Aaron R. Taylor from Ridgeside Canine was the cause. Oh, hi, Annette. I've closed the business. Four one-star reviews. So be careful, Aaron. Uh, Annette, I mean, please don't make any comments. Promise me. Don't challenge these people. Don't say they're not using the e-collar right. Promise me, girl. If you said they'll attack my business, mm -hmm. you'll be the friend of the crazy bitch. And they noticed the crazy bitch on a chat board, and they have diagnosed the crazy bitch as mentally ill. And you'll be the friend of the crazy bitch. If you said, what about the training? You heard what she said. She thinks nobody can understand her new form. All she's doing is pushing the pager button on an e-collar, and I think shock collars are inhumane. And I have a degree in the sixth grade. And I got a page full of duck face selfies. For, if you said that sounds like conduct becoming a Marine and a police officer, to go, because this woman doesn't like Tommy Loveless, and he works for me, that rather than just ignore her, and it would have all blown over by now because nobody even watches her videos. She doesn't even know what she's doing. She's crazy. Ask Larry Crown. Ask anybody. They all know. If you said all the balance trainers, yeah, that's what he is. So don't confront her. Just she does all the, this. This is her pattern of behavior. First, she starts spamming the thread with fifty of her videos. They're all terrible. They all show nothing. Then she starts taking your videos and setting them in slow-mo and adding effects like little shocking sounds and little fireflies when it's doing the shake-off. But then everybody really sees, oh, what bullshit. That's the right way to use the e-collar. And it boosts, his, boosts, boosts our cause. And then more people sign up for the franchise. So let her go. Let her run with it. Okay. So that's the sad news, Annette. I called my accountant and told her, Diamond Bar Kennel's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Ridgeside Canine, the franchise, it's its just like the small rest, any small business just being shut out by franchises. And a franchise owned by a Marine and a poli former police officer 
has attacked my page with guerrilla tactics for once. If you said you did that to him, no. if you said you did it to his fans who weren't dog trainers who are calling you a vile scumbag as a knee-jerk response, that's really sad. The good news is I'm going to open a 501c and just do pro bono work and be able to take donations to continue my work. So you said to continue to train these foster dogs like Crash, Shoe Bottom, the Bull Terrier, Angus, Sonar, Skyler, Henny, and all the other. That's seven pro bono foster dogs I am caring for. If you said, well, you haven't trained them. I haven't trained them. They're all stars. <laughs> if you said, well, when are they coming back for them? That's what I had to tell my accountant. They're not coming back for them. <laughs> foster means basically I'm going to care for these animals until they die in order to ensure their safety and the safety of the general public because you can only change so much and dogs with aggression issues and also it's management it's management it's not it's fixed i fixed it in two weeks and it's not food aggressive it's not look it was dog aggressive before but not anymore after i corrected it with the e-collar it isn't dog aggressive anymore it's fixed Anyway, Mandy, don't worry. So if you said I can still bring Parker there, I just have to donate to the LLC or to the uh, 501C. My accountant's going to get it all worked out, but that's why Diamond Bar Kennel is gone, everybody. Four one-star reviews from a police officer and a Marine. If you said, and the root of it all was because you posted a video of Tommy Loveless and a dog doing the shake-off, but they're actually using that actual video to promote their business. Mike said it's gone offline. It's disappeared. And if you said you were on their page, they were all on my page. Four one-star reviews from Ridgeside Canine put me out of business, and they'll do it to you too, so don't say anything. The guy's a cop. They're pulling public records on me. They apparently found a stalking order. If you said stalking, S-T-A-L-K-I-N-G, no, stalking something i guess maybe someone reported that i was training dogs in my socks if you said what they're talking about is that hurricane contractor that came after you and you put an order out on him probably if you said what happened with that guy that freaking Lori wouldn't drop the case. I ended up getting Lori and George, and I, if you said I've never been happier, I got all of them out of my life. And to, to get rid of Diamond Bar and know that I am not gonna have to go on there and have people like this dumb nitwit girl. I, I saw a video on a dog board. I think you should be extremely careful because I'm not a professional, but I think she's mentally ill. If you said that's aggravating and just an annoyance in your life and to have it gone and to have her and the Kimberly Goddards and all these people, it's, it is, it's wonderful. It's, it's, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. And I do thank you for that, Aaron. But I do want it to be public record that Aaron Taylor is the reason I decided to close. If you said you've mentioned it before, I've mentioned it, but I was going to keep going for a couple more years, but not anymore. It's just too much stress on me. If you said to do everything you have to do, care for all these foster dogs, pay to feed them the good food and work with them daily. And yeah, it's a lot of work and to have to go get up in the morning and go on Diamond Bar and have him do a video saying, hey, Mark, hey, Bob, look what we got here. And then have 50, if you said nobody said 50 people attacked you, that's what everybody said. If you said you didn't make any sense, like that woman said you were incoherent. That Michael Eamon's video is my favorite video ever. I'm glad she brought that up. I'm going to go find it and post it again. You people ruled the world for 300 years at the peril of a gun. And you can't stand up to a group of charlatans. And that's what I say to you, Aaron Taylor. 
You fought for us to be free, to come home and have people do that to dog, to do it yourself. You're treating the dog like you're a policeman and it's, it's a perp and don't move. Hands up, perp. You look mean, Aaron. I talk about this all the time. Men have to be very careful. They can look very mean. If you said that one where I was kicking the bowls around, I mean, that one with the muslin, I understand why it has a muslin. It's come up at you. If you said it's got aggression, I bet it does. They do not hold their head like that. That's a, they hold That one with the muslin is holding its head. If you said that's different than the drop, they know, don't you drop your head down. You're going to, if you keep your head up, you're going to see it coming. Keep your head in that. If you said they look like a natural position, I often see dogs sitting like that. It looked relaxed and happy. The tail was completely down when you started walking it. They're actually taking the footage and speeding it up twice. If you said you're slowing yours down four times, so get over it. it must, if, if I'm slowing it down four times and they're speeding it up twice, then it's the not even the exact opposite. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna take Olive and Parker for a walk. So if you said in the rain, they don't care. They'll be mud puddles. They'll be happy. <laughs> if you said, Does, do your clients know, Kelly, that, Aaron, you're keeping the dogs in outside kennels, away from your house. My clients know that I have these their dogs in my house, in crates, with me, watching them in the middle of the night, at 2 o'clock in the morning, at 3 o'clock in the morning, at 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the morning. They're sleeping in my house with me. That's where my clients' dogs are, or were, until you put me out of business. So yes, they do know that. If you said, do they know they're gonna roll in the mud? I have them sign a waiver. I do understand that Parker will be in the mud, and I will purchase this device for my car to get him home as best, without getting my car as filthy as best possible. <laughs> Oh, no, that's what I do. I say, yeah, your dog's going to get in the mud here. So we also sell these car seat covers with my uh, Panzer II and my picture on it. So I'm going to need you to buy one of these. <laughs> you tried to call my bluff, Aaron. If you said I've got all kinds of videos where you're being called liar, liar, liar. The, I understand that, though. I say it all the time. I said cops get to the point they think everybody's lying. Rick used to think I was lying to him. He's known me since he was six years old. It's just how they get. You treated me as though I'm the scumbag and you're interrogating me and I'm full of false information. If you said I went online and found all kinds of videos of you saying, come to Kelly, come to Kelly to get training. I was thinking of putting one called, we have Skype lessons, but I didn't get to it. Four one-star reviews. If you said that is not ethical to attack a business that's been around for 30 years and have people say you're mentally ill. Yeah, it is, Aaron. If you said this lady is a mental health professional. If you said the other guy said you called her. Boy, yes, I admit, when people ask this Kimberly Goddard, I tried to go after her employer. If you said she didn't work anywhere, she didn't work anywhere. I called her. H I called the HOA where she lives, and I said, "Is there anything you can do to get this woman away from me?" If you said, "What did the man say?" He she said she's on the violations committee of the HOA. I have had dealings with her, but I don't have any control over her. She's the person that drives around, and if anybody's Potted plant is in the wrong place. Kimberly Goddard writes them up. <sighs> They're just entitled assholes. I, I've never felt better in my life because it was always, since all that happened, it's been two or three years of me, honestly, it was making me insane and I'll admit it. If you said you did all kinds of crazy things, once these people initiated contact with you, your behavior became completely irrational. And you were just continually coming, oh, I'll tell you that, I'm calling your employer tactic works good. And I've talked about it many times. That guy went on there, one of this Kimberly Goddard's friends, why don't you get a real job, bitch? 
that was the review. If you said, what did you do? I went to his profile, I saw where he worked, and I called there and said, do you have any openings? If you said then what, I went back and put on the review and I said, I called where you work since I'm gonna try to get a real job now. And I said, do you have any openings? Uh, or no, I, I said, do you um, advocate online bullying? Because I've got one of your employees putting a one-star review on my business. I, I don't even know, you're not even in the same state as me. I've actually had no dealings with this person. And they said no, and uh, I, then I said, well, if, if he gets fired, will there be an opening where I can get a real job like he suggested? <laughs> I never saw anybody disappear so fast in my life. If you said the review was gone, gone. It's a well-known tactic I've used for several years. So to say it looks like she contacts me, people's employer. So if you said that's a lie, you contacted their employer and said, please help me. This person is harassing me on my Facebook page, on my video. It was a lie. No, it wasn't. If you said it wasn't harassment, calling me a vile human being who goes after all trainers because she's full of hate and jealousy, and I don't even read, I know what all they said. This guy was, oh, that's just my, if you said the guy that you went after was rattled, oh, he was rattled. He was rattled. If you said this Aaron's rattled, he must be. He's leaving me a one-star review and he's actually shut down my business with his huge conglomerate franchise with locations all over the place. By next year, it'll be locations worldwide. I can't compete with that. And who cares if I post his videos for educational purposes? You, you said yourself, Aaron, I don't have any views. You threw me a bone. The, the, the video that you posted I, was my most popular video. So I'm happy about that and I'm gonna keep it alive. I want all of you to go on there and just put comments like, hi Kelly, bump, bump, bump. Let's keep this video alive. I want it to be the most popular video on the internet. So that everybody can, I can condense all my work and all your y'all's work in one place. Juxtapose, juxtapose. Anyway, going out there to take Parker and all of them for a walk. So. Tune in for that. If you said, what's it called? Chunk and chunkier, <laughs> chunkier, and chunkier. And after that, I'll be bringing them back into my house and putting them in their crates where they'll be sleeping while I'm watching them. If you said, what if they wake up and need to go out like they do after they go to the pond? Oh, don't worry. I'll be right here letting them out the second they need to go out. <sighs> if you said, would the owners know about this? Yeah. And the mud? Yeah. They know about the mud. I post the mud too, Aaron. If you're honestly going to say your fans are saying that's the work that they want to be doing, then you need to just go today like you did the other day and gloat on your page because I haven't been there. I haven't been on your page and gloat on your page, but people told me you were on there gloating, saying, put me in my place. And well, you did, Aaron. You shut my business down, a business I've run for 30 years. And if you're pulling public records on me as a police officer, if you said I should find out where you're a police officer and say, is this ethical? <laughs> Is this ethical for this guy to be, is this guy using, is it possible for this police, ex-police officer to be using the public police officer system to, to pull public records on me, to try to find dirt on me, to try to claim that this contractor said I didn't pay him? Remember, he said I wrote him a check for $5. If he said he was high on meth, it was the biggest nightmare ever. If you said the check was for $5, no, that's a scam they use. He's a Kingsman. If you said, what's a Kingsman? That's a biker gang. If you said they said it was a social club and you found out it wasn't a social club, it's not a social club. I found out the feds raided this guy's house. Yeah. The feds to take one of their Kingsmen from New York that was hiding out there. Back to New York. If you said, where's this Kingsman at now? You can pull the records on this guy. Uh, Aaron, because he went by the name The Professor. That was his street name. If you said, what's he in jail for? Murder. If you said, they seem like nice people. Yeah. So if, if what you're doing, Aaron, is using the police department to run public records on me, that's unethical too. 
but to do use the e-collar to cause significant anxiety and harm and pain in dogs is unethical in our profession. It, my work is just, I have so much of it. It's not my fault these people haven't seen it. This, little, this girl too, this Nino Dower student, she's like 23, she's on her second lab. Oh, she knows me from my attacks on the balance trainer. Oh, that's what I'm good at. I said, you don't know what I'm good at. And I said, my labs are more animated than yours. If you said she called bullshit, whatever. If you said her favorite movie was Marley and Me, well, I bet it was. And she knows all about Ridgeview Kennel and Donna Reese. Then go ask Donna about me. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, I am going to actually, it's raining out there, you guys, but I'm going to go. If you said they don't care about the rain. But that's, it is an ethics issue, Aaron. And if you want to come talk to me, if you said you'd delete your most popular video with 5,000 views, I don't give a fuck. My main concern in life is forwarding the work of this e-collar. If you people get me sidetracked and looking at your work, and that's what I said to you, I will do you the respect of going and taking a look at your work. I had no fucking idea it was that bad. For you to pump your chest out and say, I've got a golden doodle on there. Better than any golden doodle you ever had, lady. And look at my cream golden retriever, lady. I... I'm going get, to get ready to have him go uh, look at this Dylan Maxwell blah or whatever his name is. We're not exposing anything. You can't expose anybody. If you said they took your work and put it in fast motion and people are in a fury. You're not going to stop me from continuing this work. Oh, hi, Remco. I've closed my business, Remco. After 30 years, Diamond Bar Kennel has closed because of Aaron Taylor, a franchise e-collar business, put four one-star reviews on my page. I, I can't continue in business with that, with a police officer and a Marine saying that I'm a liar. I don't know how to use the e-collar. I'm a stalker and a mentally ill person. I can't continue in business with a police officer and a Marine and a war hero displaying my lack of integrity, my lies, my poor e-collar work, the fact that my clients, albeit they are doctors, lawyers, and whatever, have been fooled by my shocking and cruel e-collar training. <laughs> anyway, I closed my business. Four one-star reviews calling me mentally ill and a liar, a stalker. If you said you're upset, I'm going to be. <laughs> I don't know how to feel anymore. I've never been more confident if anything in my life, if there's a 10,000 hour rule to master a tool, I reached that last Tuesday. And I've got 600 new friends since this started, Aaron. If you said people that don't speak English have gone on that thread, looked at your work and clicked on like it added you as a friend to see what you have going on, but then realize what you have going on is a bunch of bullshit. I'm the real deal, Aaron. When it comes to e-callers, whether you want to believe it or not, and this little high-pitched Andy Smith, I'm after you now, Andy Smith, and your little covering your tiny genitals, my two-week boarding train. Yeah, you shouldn't have spoke up. I attacked Sean O'Shea's work. If you said, what did he do? Come back at you. No, he called dog train and said, she's harassing me. If you said, what did they say? She left two years ago. We can't stand her either. She can't stand us. We fight. It's all on video. She used to do YouTube videos of the phone calls going, you people better watch out because the Europeans, when the first time I saw that, and it wasn't even the chameleon that they have now. The first time I saw the original chameleon with the tapered box, I called dog tray and I said, you fucking people better watch out. You're, I had a German girl working for me at the time. She worked for me for a decade. I said, Europeans like small, sleek things. They, they don't have the big wide open spaces we have here. And I said, you people better watch out and you people better get with the 21st century because these Europeans are gonna take over the market. Scramble, scramble, scramble. <laughs> They came out with the ARC. If you said, 
I'm gonna go pick, find a picture of the RC and I'll go find a picture of the old, the original Martin collar that had the tapered box, it was the same thing. It was the same exact collar. If he says, yes, and I said, you better watch out. These Europeans will take over the market. They're, you better start making this stuff smaller. <laughs> If you said, well, they've deemed you mentally ill, what else should, I know. I mean, if I'm that crazy, what do they expect me to do? How do crazy people act? They act crazy. <laughs> you tell someone they're crazy enough. Anyway, that's what's going on, Ramco. I am no longer, I'm no longer in business. A large franchise, just like every small business gets crushed out by franchises. Aaron L. Taylor, war hero, Marine and police officer, spotted that after 30 years, I started this business when he was 12 years old. It took 30 years for him to grow up, do a full career in the army and as a police officer, and then me come to his attention as a liar, somebody that doesn't know how to use an e-collar, somebody who is a mentally unstable person, and pointed this out, and your business could not continue. You're the, the jig was up. Everybody would see now that he's exposed you. Kind of, I guess. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go out there and actually really train, but that's where we're at, people. It is not, this is an ethics issue. If, if happy dogs is the standard, you're not even close, Aaron. You don't have one happy dog. The only time those dogs and Lowe's were happy was when you were shaking the hand of those strangers. And they thought, maybe there's a possibility of some happy greeting from this person. You could have told the dog, all right, let's go say hi. I did that time at Mac. I'll go find the video. I had Mac at uh, Home Depot doing trained retrieves. And the guy said, can I say hi? Go ahead. He said, well, I ran over there. The, guy, the dog pet him. Then the dog did the shake off. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. Parker and Olive go to the pond. Anyway... <laughs>